Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, February 5th through the 8th and y'all my sales are still staying consistent. I am so just thrilled that usually February tends to slow way down for me and this year at the, it's just remaining very consistent. Knock on wood. Um, I'm still listing tons right now though because I'm going through my profit piles all over this basement and I'm starting to see gaps, which is very encouraging, very motivating. Um, and you know, it, it's making me want to get even more done and more done and more done. And that's what I've been focusing on, a whole lot of stuff like that. Just lots and lots of smalls. Um, and then trying to list at least 30 a day. I didn't get all mine done this morning, but I will by the end of the day because we got up and went to an estate sale. It was like 50 minute drive from here. And it was very, very good. And I bought lots of stuff and a couple of things well one one major thing the my most expensive thing i bought was for my wall which we still aren't finished with getting it expanded but it's it's coming robert finished our shelf for shipping supplies um this week and it, you guys can't see it but right now it's we've got a wooden shelf that's divided between he works here when he's shipping and i work over there and that way we can both be um, pulling the supplies. Before it was, he was always having to ask me, can you send, you know, hand me a shoebox or this or that. Um, so now we've got it all just very organized right here. And that's very nice. Had an amazing Zoom call last night. So thanks Rhonda and Holly and Chaney, of course. Those are my, my, my regulars. And then we had two new people, Melissa and Rima. So thank you guys for joining us. It was it was so much fun just sitting around and talking. I think I could have stayed there longer, but everybody, you know, needed to move on and get their kids to bed and stuff like that. So it was it was a lot of fun. So if you're interested in something like that, I do have a Discord. Um, Discord server. I don't even know what to call it. Robert has it down in the descriptions. It's like five dollars a month, a little bit more, I think, for iPhone people because they charge you extra. And we, we try to get a Zoom call in when we can all fit it into our schedules, but we do daily chatting. You know, it's just everybody showing what they're doing, you know, asking questions, stuff like that, right in the, the chat. So it, it's it's fun. It's very fun. So thank you ladies for joining us. And I guess let's get moving on into what sold for me. Y'all, lots and lots of bread and butter. You know, I know there's people who say they only want to list stuff that's, you know, they're making $20 profit or 10 times or, just, you know, whatever their business policy is. But right now I'm doing very, very well and I'm selling lots of bread and butter. But not so much on the other platforms. This, I know, but I have to admit, I've not been cross-listing. I'm so busy just working down here, getting through tons and tons of the smalls that I just haven't had the energy or the inclination to sit down and do any cross-listing. So it's, it's my fault. But I had one sell on Mercari from Monday through Thursday, and it was this Mione by Aurora Spaniel dog. And it sold for $8.25. And one order on Poshmark. And y'all, Poshmark has died for me. Died. I've had this sale and one more since last the beginning of last week. Um, this is a Spark Create Imagine Husky. And it sold for $12. And then eBay. If you're new to my channel. Oh. I got an offer. Let me just go ahead and deal with that so it doesn't keep popping up on us. If you're new to my channel, um, I've been doing this 25 years on eBay. Um, I don't do free shipping. I tried it in the past. Was not very successful for me. Did not make a big difference. 
Um, so when I say something sold for $17.96, they the buyer did pay extra for shipping. First thing is this Fisher Price Musical Clock 1994. Funny thing is, y'all, if you um, have been with me since the beginning of my channel, this was the first thing that I had hanging on this wall. Um, and I, I'm once in a while, I'm going to take stuff off and sell it. I took this off because I have the vintage clock over here, the, the older one, and I don't need two clocks on my wall. So I just decided to go ahead and list it. And it sold for $17.96. All right, this is a Neopets red dinosaur figure. I picked this up when Robert and I were up in Connecticut and New York this past summer. And I probably got it in a little bag or at the bins. Y'all definitely watch for these. Um, it took probably eight or nine months to sell and it sold for $34.95. Cutter and Buck Women's Shorts, old listing, probably like the second year we were ever selling clothes. It was time for it to be gone. Thankfully, it is $12.31. This is from my favorite little estate sale company that I picked up a whole bunch of Wizard of Oz stuff. This was a little Toto in a basket figure. It was probably one of the things that, you know, maybe I shouldn't have picked up. I think I paid $2 for it, and it sold for $8.96. But I found such amazing stuff there that every once in a while, you can't be a winner on all of it. Didn't lose any money, though. Another clothing item, I've been trying to list clothes more regularly. So, you know, I've talked about this before. I have somebody who is taking pictures for me of clothes now um, as, you know, she can. And I'm just trying to, not maybe every day, but every few days, I try to list a few things. And I think that's helping the algorithm as far as my clothing, because I'm starting to sell more. This is a Sugar Sweet Weavers Women women's jacket and it sold for $55. Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse. Y'all, this was a really old listing. Um, not sure why it took so long for this to sell because I do really well with my dollhouse stuff. Um, but it finally sold for $16.12. This is one of the bathroom sets. Fisher Price Little People Wheelies. Um, I tend to pick a lot of these up at the bins and I make lots out of them. These three vehicles sold for $9.95. Y'all, this is more of the, the profit pile stuff that I have just, I had this huge Barbie doll tote, one of those flat ones that fit under your bed. It sat on a shelf, I can't tell you how long, and I finally forced myself to go through all of it. I divided it out into sets. I kept looking stuff up and making sure this piece went with this set. I found so many nice sets in there. And then just all these other bins that I've been digging through. These were from Chet May. They are little four inch figures. Sold very, very quickly for $7.15. Sesame Street Christmas ornaments. Y'all, I've had the Ernie sitting in like a little dish by my desk area. I'm not quite sure why he wasn't listed, but then I found the Cookie Monster and I just made myself go ahead and put the two of them together and list them. And they sold, again, very, very quickly on an offer for $9. Christmas. Real Tree Men's Vintage Shirt sold for $11.25. Lee jeans, y'all. We can find Lee jeans forever here in our area. Um, if we can get them, usually like a dollar or fill a bag or something like that, um, we go ahead and pick them up. These men's jeans sold for $12.73. Batot Lil Woodsies. I think this is, I've seen these at Target, so I'm not sure if it's a Target thing or um, what. I, I think these were like in just a box lot of stuff I picked up, maybe at the bins. Um, but this little cute set sold for $9. Christmas 
Carter's Lovey says, thank heaven for little boys. Sold for $9.86. Bread and butter. Mattel Barbie bubble bath container. Now, it was empty. I make sure I put that in my listing. And it took probably about six months to sell. $16.50. This, too, in bins, in baskets. Um... And it sold probably within a day or two of listing. This was a little Hallmark Christmas ornament, $11.66. Fisher Price Little People. This is one of the exceptions that I may use the word vintage in the beginning of a title because Fisher Price has its vintage and then it has its stuff that from like 2000 and up that I don't consider as vintage. Um, so I, it's one of the times that I may use the word vintage, but I usually don't use it um, any other time. Um, but these were in a box that had been sitting at my feet full of all kinds of little people. And I, again, forced myself to go through it, make sets. And these were just like some of the vintage older um, furniture to some of the sets and sold very quickly within a couple of days for $12.10. Smallville Superman t-shirt sold for best offer of $20. Hello Kitty. I tend to pick up most Hello Kitty and even the Thai ones tend to sell very quickly for me. This was a little Halloween one from 2013. Again, very quick sale. Sold for $10.49. My Little Pony. This might have been from either the bins. I picked up some vintage stuff at the bins. And then I picked up a bunch of them at that churchyard sale this past summer. Um, where I paid like a dollar each for them. It could have been one or the other. Um, but this was a teeny tiny baby my Little Pony from 1989, sold for $12.10. Animal Adventure, Little Mommy Dog with her baby from 2017, $9.86. This, I'm also forcing myself to take some of the stuff that needs clean, that is just accumulating and clean it and get it listed. And this was one of the items I picked up one day. It is a Sunbeam Chrome picture made in the USA. And again, sold probably within a week for $20.20. All I keep thinking, y'all, is I've got all of this profit money sitting around waiting for me to do something with it. Hug and Love, not a brand I pick up very often. I think this was a bin pickup um, from 2018, sold for $9.86. North Face Women's Hoodie. I'm coming to find out North Face just does not sell very well. This was listed for over a year, and I got a $10 offer on it, which I just went ahead and accepted to make it gone. FAO. Um, this is a baby doll. And it's been listed just a couple of months short of a year. I got a $30 offer on it. And again, it was just one of those times I thought, I just need to go ahead and accept it. It's been over a year. Make it gone. $30 for a doll. This was from that Barbie tote. This is a campfire that makes sounds. And it sold for $11.66. Fisher Price Little People. Usually I try to make small lots. I'm going to start making a little bit larger lots um, to see if those move any faster. They are a slow mover for me, but I love them and I'm going to pick them up. Um, but these two, I try to make like three bucks each, depending on where, how many I'm putting in a lot and everything. Three to four dollars. Um, and these two sold for eight dollars and ninety-five cents. Stitch from Lilo and Stitch just does not sell very well, but I still tend to pick it up at times. Um, this, it's got to be cheap though. 
and it sold for $8.05. Took almost a year. Plushology. This was a bear plush. Has Colorado landmarks on it, and it sold for $11.66. Warner Bros. Bugs Bunny plush from 1989. Also, Mighty Star is one of the brands also associated with that plush. And it sold very quickly, $17.95. My Twin Posable Pets. I, this was one of the ones I kind of sort of stuck to my guns. There were very few of this black cat listed. There's another animal from the My Twin series. My Twin is a doll. Um, this was just a pet plush that goes with it. Um, so I kind of stuck to my guns and didn't entertain some of the low offers that I got, but I did end up getting one for $31.65, which I went ahead and accepted. Wish Pets, I mention this brand quite often. I like it, but again, it's bread and butter, but just very cute, nice quality. Um, this little red wolf sold for $9.86. Totsie Fashion Doll, I think, I picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say I paid a dollar for it. I'm pretty sure it was my little favorite estate sale. And it sold for $10.15. The thing to remember with these types of doll clothes, if it specifically doesn't say Mattel, don't use Barbie. I'm, I've heard that you could get a Vero for them. The Key, the term to use is fashion doll. And if you've got a mixed lot, again, I would encourage you not to use the word Barbie um, because you, you could have a situation with it also. So if you have stuff that's not Mattel, um, use fashion doll. Cole's Cares. I had not seen this plush before and it sold instantly. You know, I based my comps on others that were listed and it sold very, very quickly for $7.16. But I'm pretty sure it was a Ben's pickup, so I might have 50 cents in it. Carter's Tan Dog Plush from 2019. I tend to pick up most Carter's. A lot of it is bread and butter, especially the Lovies. Um, but there are exceptions, and this is one of them. This little dog sold for $44.95. Just say no to breakables. Just say no, Rebel. I'm just, it, it takes a while for them to sell and they, I'm just, I don't do as well with them. I'm going to have to be way more particular, especially on the breakables. Mugs are going to be my exception. I'm doing really well with mugs, um, especially now that we've lowered our shipping prices to um, give the buyers our discount through eBay. I'm selling more and more, and I think this is why this one finally sold too, because the shipping just seems to be more reasonable. But this Noritake Lusterware basket sold for $22.62. And y'all, when I say just say no to breakables, that's to me, not you guys. If that's your business model and you know it, like I know plush, you know, go for it, but I don't know it. Don't know it. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Sherry. Sherry bought this Hasbro Love and Care Cabbage Patch Kids doll from 1992, $11.66. So thank you, Sherry. Homer Best, not a brand I pick up very often, um, but this one was cute, had the little wild thing heart pillow and it sold for $10.45. Wah, never heard of it, but when I see denim skirts, and especially with that cute little tassels on the end, of course I'm gonna pick it up. Um, these did take a while to sell. Um, finally took an offer of $16.54 for them. Old Navy. Y'all, it's another brand we can pick up a lot. We try to watch for the the older ones where they're they're made 100% cotton, um, 
but it's something we find a lot of and if we can get it for very very cheap we're gonna pick it up these men's jeans sold for nine dollars and one cent Hi, Pluffies. Love them. Pick up most of them. Most of them are bread and butter. This one sold for $8.50. Home interiors. Now, y'all, I went to an estate sale where it was fill a bag for $5. So I saw these while I was standing in the checkout. Went ahead and dumped them in there. At the time that I listed them, I don't think I was finding very much as far as comps. So oh, usually when I don't have comps and I kind of base it on what, you know, other racing stuff is going for or other home interior stuff is going for, you know, I'll just kind of throw a larger price on it. Um, but they've been listed for a while and I got a $10 offer on them. And when I went to check comps, there were others that were selling, you know, in that range so, and these did have some condition issues, so I thought, let's just make them gone. I got them for hardly anything um, because they were just fill a bag and they were the last minute thing that I stuffed in a bag. Now, I am, I'm a probably over halfway through with my inventory. Um, I started this several months ago. It's taking a while. I kind of try to fit it in every couple of days out in the afternoon after I've done, uh, after I finished um, like processing the things that I wanted to process that day, then I'll go out there for an hour or so, get a few baskets done. This was one of those items that I ended up finding that was no longer listed, but was in my basket. Did eBay drop it? Maybe, but I accidentally also deleted 200 listings last year, which is the reason why I'm really um, having to get through this inventory because I've got at least 200 items sitting out there um, that will never sell and I don't know what they are. Um, but I listed this and it sold probably in less than a month for $10.49. It was from the Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company. Just this wacky looking purple elephant. So this is why I got to get that stuff checked so I can get it relisted. Dandy Dog Plush. Again, another really old inventory. Another thing that I've been doing this month when I'm doing my end and sell similar, anything that is over a year old, I am actually permanently dropping the prices on them and hoping that I can just start getting a lot of this older stuff moving faster. Um, another thing I'm doing also is when I'm sending out offers every day, I have a date code in my custom SKU now that tells me when it was listed and anything that's over a year I'm sending out at least 20% offers anything that was within a year um, I'm sending out 10% offers and then some of the things that I've just recently listed I'm sending out 5% offers because I already have everything on sale for 10% off so you know I'm trying you know to maximize my profit as much as I can but I also got to get this stuff moving because, you know, hopefully we're going to be starting to really bring in a lot of new inventory when yard sale season starts. So got to get it moving. But the Standy Dog Plush sold for $11.66. Another profit pile item recently listed, this DC Multiverse Superman figure took a best offer of $10. Little Tykes, Tots, these were one of those things I had to pull them out and get them cleaned up first. They still had some condition issues, but they sold the same day I listed them um, for $12.95. LuLaRoe, I find it around here um, once in a while. This one still had its original tag on it, but it was a Disney Sleeping Beauty Dragon um, Carly dress sold probably within a month up for, uh, for $15. Pound Purries, another thing I pick up anytime I, I can find them. Um, and I tend to make like small lots of either cats or dogs or mixed, sometimes two, sometimes three. Um, and these two sold within days of listing them for $12. 
rabbits. It's Easter time. These are two Walmart rabbits from 2021, sold for $11.66. Christmas again, an old listing again. These are Santa Claus elves drinking glasses and it sold for $12.20. Winnie the Pooh plush, love it. Um, was only listed a little over a month and sold for $17.95. Big Hero 6 Baymax plush. This is the large one. I think I sold him before and he got retur returned because they didn't like the fact that it had plastic joints in its arm. So I relisted it. I threw it in there that there's plastic joints in the arm so that they can move. And it sold for $15.25. Sesame Street Elmo. I love Sesame Street. I'm noticing a trend that... They're just selling a lot slower for me. I'm still going to pick them up because I personally love Sesame Street. Um, but definitely check your sell-through rate when you're picking up some of, you know, some of the um, current plush vintage. Maybe a little bit different. Um, but just, yeah, check your sell-through rate. This one did take over a year to sell, and it was $12.07. All right. Animal Fair. I'll pick these up anytime I find them. These are called Chubbles. The thing is, they sell whether they work or not. This one, unfortunately, was not working. Um, there's a couple of different um, colors of the cloaks that they're wearing, so always make sure you put the color of the cloak. Um, and it's still sold for $17.95. Aurora Purely Luxe Rabbit Plush, Easter, $13.50. Starbucks Holiday Travel Coffee Mugs. I'll pick them up, especially if it's a little bit older or it's seasonal, uh, you know, a holiday. Um, the good thing about most Starbucks stuff, it tells you what the size of the cup is like it'll say on the bottom is 12 ounces or 24 ounces or 20 ounces or whatever so I, I appreciate that that I don't have to go upstairs and measure into a mug to figure out what the size is um, this one sold for eight dollars and 96 cents y'all if you ever find these plastic dishes they were called Heller Massimo I have done so well with them. I picked up some pink plates, some purple plates, and then I think it was some um, mugs. I paid like $10 for a whole box of them. And I think I've got, uh, yeah, I've got two of the purple plates left. I think that's it. Um, but this person bought two pink, two purple, and they paid $46.64 for the four plates. Coffee mugs, they're selling for me. So I, it's probably something I'm going to this year. Again, it's got to be vintage. It's got to be something unique. Um, but I will probably um, start picking them up again. I had kind of backed off on them a little bit because they were sitting and accumulating. But I really honestly believe because my shipping now is actual that um, they're, they're going to sell more for me. This was a Washington, D.C. mug, sold for $9.86. Y'all, I get these like a quarter, 50 cents, two, you know, two for a quarter when they're on like half price sales. Um, but for the most part, I, I stick with the vintage stuff. And last but not least, again, from my profit pile, this was a Disney Sleeping Beauty Maleficent figure. A lot of times I use the word cake topper also. And she sold very quickly for me for $8.96. All right, y'all. That was last week, Monday through Thursday. Sales have been consistent for me. Um, I'm going, I think my next video that I'm going to put out for you guys is going to be a brand video. I haven't done one of them in a while. Um, but I think it's time. I, I, I have a reason why I'm picking the brand that I'm picking. But I'm not going to tell you guys yet, so... Probably my next video, though, will be this brand video. Otherwise, now it's time to get to work. Bye.